All right. Wow, I really sounded like Sophia Nygaard there. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Marina Graves. I'm um just filmed a fucking video and I already forgot my intro again. <sighs> I'm a queer zinester, a tarantula mom, and a horror enthusiast. That's what it is. Okay, let's talk about Squirm Fest. Uh, this is a Japanese adult video from, uh, 1989. Uh, and, um, I believe this is seen as one of the, like, almost, like, gauntlet type ones. Like, the, like, Goose Milk is. It's like, like, can you handle watching it? Um, and, uh, it was a wild ride. Um, it surprised me in many ways, um, <laughs> namely, and then I fully expected vomit in this one, not a single, single drop of vomit in this. I was truly amazed. <sighs> so let's get started. First of all, let me say, this is not subtitled. Um, so I was relying off of my extremely minimal knowledge of the Japanese language, um, which is a semester of Japanese at the community college when I was 16. So, uh, needless to say, I understood approximately 1% of this. Anyway, so we start our opening scene is a girl is sitting at a dining room table. She's talking. I don't know what she's saying. Um, she has a plate of food in front of her, which is dry ramen noodles dry cooked ramen noodles. They're just not in sauce, um, with a bunch of live worms in it. Um, this is your, if you're, if you're afraid of bugs, this is your time to dip. Or if you don't like insect to death, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Um, and, uh, yeah, she just starts eating. Um, she's just eating eating them worms, uh, and I, she's just really shoveling it down. I, the mouth sounds. <sighs> if you watch my other videos, you're probably aware of the fact that I have misophonia. Um, and mouth sounds are the worst. They get to me the worst. Um, I, I fully understand that, uh, slurping noodles and stuff like that is not rude in Japanese culture. In fact, it's rude not to slurp when you're eating noodles or drinking soup in Japanese culture. Um, but she's just like chewing with her mouth open and shit, just like, and it's, it's really like, it's, it, I understand this is because it's like partially mouth fetishism. So they're wanting to get close and show mouth movement. And so you can hear mouth sound. Anyway, the last bite of her meal is just straight up a single worm. Like, no noodles, just the worm. Uh, this woman then pours a glass of milk. Um, but there is more worms in the milk. Uh, there's just a big clump of them at the bottom of the glass. Uh, so then when she drinks it, like, do you know when you're drinking a soda or something and the ice is all at the bottom and then you tilt the glass back and all the ice comes down and hits you in the face. This happened to this woman, except instead of ice, it was worms. This is the kind of video this is going to be, so. Um, anyway, she's eating the worms that are kind of like hanging out in her mouth. Um, she's spilling them on the floor. She picks them up and eats them off the table. Um, she then starts eating like a piece of bread or something like that. Or it's like bread or like, <sighs> I don't know. Um, but it's covered in maggots. So that's great. Um, I wrote here, I can feel the vomit coming on. But just you wait, past Marina. There's no vomit. Uh, and uh, she continues to then lick the maggots off the plate. 
this woman then sits down to play the piano, um, which she does sitting on two slightly separated cinder blocks. Um, so we can see up her skirt because this is a Japanese adult video. Um, she is still, however, wearing panties. Um, there's a man watching her play and she starts to look pained and act like her stomach is cramping up. And, uh, then it cuts and it's, I can't get through a video without losing a nail. Uh, and they're both wearing like weird, like Afro wigs and, um, like those weird comedy glasses with the giant nose, um, and the Groucho Marx mustache. Um, and then we go back to the upskirt shot and she begins it's a Japanese adult video you know what I'm about to say she does she starts shitting her pants um and it's like a straight up like weird like like milk enema kind of situation because it's not like it's liquid but it's not all poop you know um she also pees. Uh, I wrote unexpected because I thought we were going to get vomit, but hey, we're only 15 minutes in. Um, he then has her squat. He gets up onto, she gets up onto the blocks and squats. Keeps going. Mostly she just pees more. They have her pee into a bowl. Um, there is maggots in her shit. Um, I wrote Jesus because... Somehow I was shocked that there was maggots in her poop. Um, and the dude starts picking up pieces of her shit and feeding it to her. And she eats. She eats it off the floor. She's making noises like she's going to puke, but she doesn't. She just keeps eating. Uh, and then, I ma then they make her drink her pee. This is what I do on YouTube. I can never tell anyone in real life that I do YouTube. Uh, then they take her, she she's, has a tampon in, so they remove her tampon and uh, rub it in her face. Um, so that's nice. Um, then a guy one of the other guys, uh, squats over her face and just fully shits right all over her face. Um, just like right on the nose mouth region. Um, some of it falls over her eye, which is closed, but I just, I can only think of what pink eye hell she must have been in after filming this. Um, Anyway, so she starts eating this dude's shit, and then another guy comes and shits on her face. And then she licks his asshole. Um. Because I guess there was no toilet paper. Convenient. Um, and then the first guy comes back, and he starts feeding her her own wormy, maggoty shit. At this point, I was like... Why do I watch this shit? Because while I have some very unconventional sexual interests, um, this is not one of them. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so that's nice. Um, anyway, uh, then she starts giving the dude head with her shitty mouth. Uh, like, uh, this dude's gonna get a UTI. Like, they're both going to get a UTI, but this dude? No. No. Uh-uh. Um. Yeah, and then, he, and then he fucks her, and she's still covered in shit, and uh, he does her missionary, then doggy, then she sucks his dick with her weird shitty mouth, and then she pees in the bowl again. <sighs> um. At which point I wrote, at least maybe she won't get a UTI because she peed. Um, which, uh, I'm aware most of my 
uh, demographic is male, so I'm going to assume most of you are cis men. Uh, if, if, if someone with a vagina doesn't pee after penetrative sex, they're likely to get a UTI. So, uh, put that one up there in your big toe for future reference if you didn't already know that. Uh, <laughs> sex ed, yay! Um, anyway, uh, she then drinks the pee. She drinks the main dude's pee who just pees right in her mouth. Um, she sucks this dude's dick some more. They bone in missionary some more, and then he nuts on her face. Uh, somehow... She seems more disgusted by having her face jizzed on than literally anything else that has happened so far. So, clearly this dude eats like shit. Um, anyway, uh, they have her sit on a tack board to play the piano some more, which if you don't know what that is, it's essentially just... A flat surface with little like pointy bits on it um, for sitting or kneeling or standing on for BDSM purposes. Um, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, they then cut to a different scene uh, where a couple is eating like a fine dining meal sort of situation at a nice table and they're eating like chicken or a duck leg or something, you know, fancy looking. Um, except hers is covered in cockroaches. Um, so she also eats some cockroaches. Um, <sighs> we cut to another scene, which looks like kind of like a behind the scenes kind of situation. Um, uh, girl, she shits in the bowl. She shits in a bowl. And uh, she eats it with a spoon. And uh, the, the one of the other actors, or um, I'm not sure if he was one of the performers or a crew member, um, but he also uh, takes the spoon and takes a bite and tries it because apparently we're watching Salo now. Uh, perhaps the... the <laughs> This, to me, was the part where I, it was so unintentionally comical that I bypassed laughter and went straight to tears. Um, if you're not familiar with Japanese culture, you may not know that um, before the Japanese eat, they um, say, itadakimas, which is essentially is it's similar to saying grace, it's like thanking the people who made this meal possible for you. Um, this man says itadakimasu before taking a bite of shit. I'll just... Yeah. I mean, I don't know what I can even say about this. Like, I understand that this is how Japanese culture is, and you're very, like, automatically saying these things before taking bites, um, but also it was just so unintentionally funny to me. <sighs> I don't know what else to say about it. Anyway, um, they then, um, start, they, they then, they then deep fry some of the poop. Um, so that's, that's a thing. Um, and they eat the deep fried poop. <sighs> yeah, and I'm really questioning my life at this point, both now and when I was watching this. Um, they... They then uh, use the poop to bread some vegetables, and they fry that and eat it. Um, but they say it's delicious.
I don't know. I don't know. I just know that they keep saying Lishi, which means delicious. So I'm really having a quarter life crisis here. All right. This is the last scene. We're almost done here. Girl reads, she reads what I'm fairly certain is an ad bit for her other scat movies because they're reading like spine numbers and stuff. Um, and showing like clips from other, their other movies. Um, then the girl is sat at a table with a blender, a bowl, some drinking glasses. Um, she squats to pee in the glass. Inside the bowl is more worms. Um, and then we have a gentleman come over and he's got a nice little chef hat on, uh, which he then pours the worms into the blender. Um, there's a cup full of maggots, which he then adds. He adds uh, a roach and some more worms. And then he uh, pours the pee in for some liquid to turn this into some kind of god-awful fucked up grayish chunky smoothie. But it's not smooth. In any way. This was probably the grossest part to me somehow. Because just like the texture of it. Just, I just. It was very like vomity texture. Even though there's no like vomit in this. Like that, that bowl looked like it could have contained vomit. Anyway, uh, they give it to the girl and she... She drinks it, and uh, she looks like she would rather jump in front of a bullet train, but she drinks it. And uh, that's it. I wrote, how we got through that with no vomit, I will never know. I think I just had different expectations going into Squirm Fest because it starts with a woman eating worms, so I thought she was going to vomit. Also, a lot of times with these weird, um, really niche Japanese fetish porn movies, um, a lot of them just do have vomit. Um, and I'm not, um, I understand, like, I think I get a metaphilia more than the average person, um, you know, I, I guess I am, I, I mean, I guess if... I don't know how to explain this in a way that doesn't make me sound like a complete fucking psychopath. But I'll try. Something, sometimes, seeing someone be sick activates my statist brain because. I think I'm just sadistic enough that seeing someone be sick and uncomfortable is kind of like, yeah, okay, I get that. It's less about the vomiting and more the, um, the being sick or unwell part. Uh, and also I think it makes me want to take care of someone. So I don't know. I mean... Maybe it's just because I was in the Slipknot fandom for a long time and you see one too many videos of these dudes vomiting on each other and suddenly they're in a metaphile. <laughs> that's for that's for all the other Slipknot fans out there who know that these dudes used to puke on each other and piss on each other and light each other on fire all the time. Um Yeah. Shoutouts to, uh, Joey and Paul. Uh, and, yeah. Wow. Don't know how I turned that around into a moment to pay tribute to, uh, to late performers in my favorite band. Or one of my favorite bands, I should say. <laughs> I think I'm just delirious at this point. Um, and I should wrap it up. 
So that was Squirmfest. Don't watch it because I watched it for you so you don't have to. Unless for some reason this appeals to you and you do want to watch it, in which case, um, good on you. Good for you. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm fucking loopy. It's 1230 in the morning. I'm gonna go. Anyway, if you didn't watch the video that I posted yesterday, go ahead and check that out because I want to know what you guys want to see. If it's more shit like this, I can do that because, like I said, somehow, um, this shit doesn't bother me all that much. <laughs> somehow. Anyway, alright. Uh, I love you guys. Bye. If you watched yesterday's video you already know what i'm about to say i forgot to do a song of the day and i already took all my shit off so since i mentioned slipknot in this one uh i'm gonna go ahead and say red flag let's go with red flag this one's from uh we are not your kind so it's a recent one but uh there's a section at two minutes and 30 seconds that is one of the heaviest pieces of music I've ever heard in my life. Uh, and I, I know it's coming every time I listen to that song and it still lays me out. All right. Uh, now I'm actually going. Okay. Bye.